All right. So in this case, I want us to consider another example on our Thevenin's theorem, where we need to calculate the current flowing uh, through the 12 ohm resistor, which is R3. All right. So according to our circuit, that is where we have our R3. So we're going to take this as our load resistor in the circuit shown using Thevenin's theorem. Uh, remember our stages, they are not going to change. And what we need on the equivalent circuit diagram, like I said before, is not going to change. Binding of VTEV, RTEV, all those stages. You need to remove the load resistor. That's the first stage, remember? So if you were to remove this load resistor, let me just try shorten it like this. All right. So let's say we remove this uh, R3, which is our load resistor. What were we going to remain with at the end? We were going to have our V1 like this. We're going to have our V1 and also going to have our R1. Uh, that's our R2. So we're going to have our R2 here. Okay, then in this part, we are now having A, B, that is point A, and also the point B. Remember, we have removed that resistor. So we are going to remain here with R4. And on the other hand, you are going to remain with this part, as it is the V2 and the, the R5, that resistor that you're given there. So it's going to be our V2, our R5 like this. So this is what you're going to have. So with this, uh, okay, let's just have our voltages, guys, so that we can quickly uh, have our question here. Let's just have everything. Uh, R2 here, which is 10 ohms. Uh, there we have got R4, which was 7 ohms. There we had R5 and the V2. Uh, V2 being 16 volts and R5 being 13 ohms. So the question is, how can we calculate the open circuit voltage here across the points A and B, which you consider as your V there? How is it possible? All right, you see that the voltage across A and B is going to be affected by the two connections here. We're going to separate these this part here on its own, and this part here on its own. We calculate the voltage drop across here. So let's just put another point, call it C. You calculate the voltage drop across AC. You also calculate the voltage drop across BC. This is what is happening. We've got AC and also BC. So the voltage drop across, let's focus with uh, this part of AC, this side. Using the voltage divider rule, you are going to see that the voltage drop across AC, uh, we need VTEV, remember, is going to be affected by R2 and R1. So remember our voltage divider rule, so it's going to be R2 on top where we need to calculate this voltage. So R2 over R1 plus R2 times the, the supply according to this side, we are focusing on this side. The supply there, which is V1, is going to be the one that you use. So we are going to have VAC, uh, which is going to be RM2, which is 10, over the sum of these two, 6 plus 10 times V1, which is 10 volts. So this was going to give us the voltage across the points A and C. And that was going to be 6.25 volts. Considering the other section, you will see that we have got B and C again. So we're going to use the same concept, B and C. But this time, B and C to be across R4. So meaning to say you're going to use R4 on top using your voltage divider rule over the sum because you're now dividing this side. R4 and R5, they are on this side. So it's going to be the sum of R4 plus R5 times what? Times V2. That's our VBC, which is R4, that is 7, over the sum 
of these two. That's seven plus uh, 13 times V2, which is 16 volts. So in that case, you have got your VBC. So that was going to be 5.6 volts. So the question, how are we going to have our V3, which is the voltage across these two points? It's a voltage on its own, a voltage there on its own. So the difference between these two is going to be our voltage. So VA, V3 will be the difference. Take note there, you subtract VAC minus VBC. Uh, even our vector concept, they tell us that uh, to say that if you want uh, VAB, from VAC and VBC, you subtract AC minus VBC, uh, minus this BC. So that's our V there, which is our VAB, which is the difference between these two. So it's going to be VAC minus VBC. So meaning to say your V there, you subtract 6,25 minus 5,6 volts. So this was going to give us uh, 0 0,65 volts as your V there. That's our VTEV. All right. So we have calculated our VTEV. We got uh, 0 0.65 volts. Now you need our TEV. So that is it, guys. Just gonna, let me just remove this so that you can quickly have our RTEV. Then we know that uh, this guy is done. We just need to revise more question papers on Thevenin and other networks. Remember, now you work with uh, five in our syllabus. So we need to revise all up to the maximum power transfer. All right. Remember, we need this time to have RTF. And RTF, I said, you short these two, the voltages that you are given, we are going to, to short them. So we are no longer on RL this time. We want the resistance. So we short here. We also short there, short the voltages. Then you calculate what? RTF. So as we can see, the look in resistance as we are looking in A and B, which is our RTF, we can see that these two here are in parallel and these two also are in parallel. So RTF is simply a combination of the two parallel combinations. The R1 and R2 in parallel, that's product over sum. And the parallel combination of R4 and R5, that's product over sum again, R4 and R5. So that was the idea then. So that was going to give us our Thevenin's resistance, our R1 by R2, the product 6 and 10. 6 by 10 over 6 plus 10, just like that, plus product over sum of these two that are remaining, 7 and 13, uh, that's 7 by 13 over 7 plus 13. You simply uh, work them like that. You simplify this, add up to the other one. Uh, this was going to give us uh, 3,75, something like that, plus 4,55. And if you add... That was going to be our RTF, which is 8,3 ohms. You have your RTF. You have your VTEV. What are you going to need? The equivalent circuit now. Once with this, guys, we go back to the equivalent circuit. The equivalent circuit diagram. The equivalent circuit diagram is nothing to do like what you had. This combination, it was having five resistors or what? No. The equivalent circuit will always be like that. Our equivalent circuit, like I said on the introduction, is going to remain like that. VTEV, RTEV, and RL in series. So that is what you're going to have. And you can calculate the current there. So we saw that we are going to have our VTEV and our RTEV in series. So VTEV and RTF in series, uh, that is like this. So that is our RTF there to the points A and B. So this is going to be taken across those points A and B where we have 
the the load resistor the one that we removed across a and b we removed uh here our load resistor which is our r3 of uh, 12 ohms so you get back that resistor of 12 ohms here our load resistor which is our r3 so that's it we get it back so just like that so this is what you're going to have our r3 or the load resistor as it was 12 ohms Everything we have, guys, we can calculate our current. Uh, that's plus minus. Remember our RTF, when you calculated here, it was 8,3. So RTF, that is 8,3 ohms. Our VTF, 0,65. Uh, this was 0, 0,65 volts. So just like that, you can calculate uh, the current flowing, which is the load current, into the circuit. So from this connection, our current, which is the load current, is simply going to be VTEF over the sum of these two resistors, RTEF and the load resistor, which is our R3. So meaning to say, you are going to have your VTEF uh, 0.65 over what? The sum of these two resistors, 8.3 and 12. So that's it. So you're going to have 8,3 plus 12 like that. You have got uh, your load current, which is going to give us uh, 0, 0.03 two amps. So like this, you can, uh, as you can see, calculate as many questions, guys, as you can with this idea and also uh, try to just do question papers that at least it can help you to see how do they ask the questions from these introductions that you have? You can see that it's actually uh, sometimes a repetition of the same circuit diagram. Only the voltages, values, and resistance values have changed. But you see that it's just one and the same thing. So the more you do your question papers, the more you can see, okay, this is how they ask these typical questions. So uh, let us revise. As much as we can, uh, we shall move on to another theorem in our next class.